It was a great, a great question on having regular alarms to practice the observer throughout the day so as to prevent the addictive nature of the ego to be constantly obsessed in its dramas and thoughts and its negativity. So um, in answering the question, I, I did say I'd got this watch uh, inspired by the Course in Miracles so that I could start, you know, I started off with hourly alarms and then half hourly alarms and then 10 minute alarms. And now after eight or nine years, I, I have my alarms every five minutes to go off into the observer. And I, I experience greater and greater peace and serenity and states of flow and miracles. That, and they were in direct correlation to how regular the alarms were. Now with each time I, I tried to reduce the amount of time, my ego is very grumpy. You know, it would be angry for, I don't know, maybe um, a few weeks. It would be like sulking and, you know, you have to do this every half hour. Because, and stop the drama and the resentments and the anger and the self-pity and just break it. But then after that transitory phase, I'd actually feel even happier than I'd ever felt before on the new reduced times. Okay, so I was asked a question on how I would do that. Well, I mean, I do, I do it in, in, a, in, a, in a... I do two things on the beat. So I don't just do the one thing on the beep, I do two things, because I'm a Course in Miracles student. So I have my daily lesson of the day. Uh, so for example, and this whole process on the beep takes me literally about two or three seconds. It doesn't really interrupt the flow of my day. It's not anything, it can be done uh, throughout the day. You can even be, you, I mean, it's, you can even do it while you're, even if I was talking, you know, or someone was talking to me, I could probably quickly do it, and they wouldn't notice, you see, what I do. So, one of the things I quickly do on the beep, I'd have my beep go, beep, 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 it would go, and then I'd, I, I'd, I'd have, in the morning I'd, I'd done my Course in Miracles lesson, I'd have my lesson, like, it, my lesson of the day might be, I'm not a victim of the world I see. So I might, I might do that, I'm not, I'm, not a, I'm, not a, I'm not a victim of John, or I'm not a victim of my financial situation, I might do, that takes about three seconds, or one second, and then here's the next, and then I'd go to the observer to get this place of eternal stillness within me. So I just, actually for me now it's, I'll probably share what it was like in the early days, because now it's much easier just to quickly go into silence, but in the earlier days it'd be like, what am I being hooked into? Am I hooking into my thoughts? Am I hooking into the noise? Am I hooking into it, being angry at somebody? And I'll go, oh, what's, what's observing this? And I'd go and then get a sense of the stillness or this observing, limitless observing field behind the drama of the thoughts or whatever. But nowadays, um, so those are the two things I quickly do, and it just takes a second or two or three seconds to do. And, you know, if you do that every, start off every hour, and then when you're ready, drop drop the time down and drop the time down and you get, life will get better and better. And um, so I just do those two things. It doesn't interrupt the flow of life. Um, like I've shared before in this group, I was so committed because I wanted to be free of all my illnesses. I remember, you know, there was one story uh, which was, uh, you know, it was like I was in, I think it was in Poundland. I think I was in Poundland and there was a person in front of me and my watch started beeping. So it was, and there was a person in front of me so I thought I closed my eyes and I was doing my thing and, I, and the person just had left and there was a cashier just staring at me, standing with my eyes closed, <laughs> <laughs> waiting for me to finish, yes. my, finish, finish my Course in Miracles lesson and my, and my observer. And she just waited there. For, I think she found it very fascinating. I don't know. And so I just did, and I just pretended nothing had happened, and I carried on and went to the checkout. But I was that committed. You know, it's like, um, even on, in Oxford Street, Bond Street, I would like, if my watch was beeping, I'd like turn to the wall and close my eyes and just do, do the lesson for two, three seconds and then carry on. So I was that, you know, so I was really committed to just doing it. And the, co the course actually does say that, unless there's a good reason, try not to let the world distract you from doing what you need to do. I mean, sometimes it's impractical, like I haven't got my watch on right now, in the middle of the group. But I, I did that, and um, 
So those, those two things, and it's like, you know, when you're hooked into the drama of the ego, your days are going to be much more in time, much more difficult, much more rough. Mm -hmm. There's going to be much more suffering uh, because you're really hooked. You, once you get hooked into the drama of the ego, it pulls you more and more in. So this is like this little reminders to pull you out of your ho hooking into the drama of your ego. It's like quicksand. Mm. Well, well, you know, actually, at a certain critical point, it's like spirit is more. You, because you've been doing it for so many years and so many times during the day, it's like you, you start becoming immune to the world, you know. Mm. But the process that I did, you know, that, that is pretty intense, you know, every ten minutes, every five minutes, you know, for years and years and years. But then eventually you start to become the peace. And eventually you start, it becomes more and more difficult to hook into drama. So it bec you become wired the opposite way of most of the world. It's like you don't want to, it's very difficult to get hooked into drama and, and all the chaos that goes on in the world. And there's like a, like a, an infinite space or stillness which is, becomes more and more immune to what's going on in the world, which is the essence of The Course in Miracles. I'm not a victim of any, anything in the world of form. And it's only the things that are constantly dragging you into the drama are what your ego is hookable into. Mm. Once, as you do it for years and years, you become, there's less and less hooks in the world that hook you in, because you transcend things. It's like, one of my major hooks was donuts. You know, I mean, I'm quite happy for someone to bring a bag of donuts next week and leave it on the table, and it won't, you know, it won't be a problem for me, because I transcended donuts. Mm. They no longer hook me in. So less and less, you know, my mother doesn't hook me in. That was, that was a lot of work. But you can transcend your mother, you see. So it becomes more, more and more situations become, uh, you become unhookable. That's not the right expression, but you, you transcend them. So that there is no more hooks in a situation that used to be able to hook you in, you see. But it requires that level of dedication. Because obviously, if you're just in drama, tw 19 hours of the day and you spend two seconds unhooking mm -hmm. for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. I mean, what are the odds of you being totally free? I mean, it's like I'm giving 99% of being <coughs> addicted to the drama in my head yeah. and I'm spending two seconds at the end of the day trying to unhook from it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's like you've got to have something that's in equal and opposing, e equal and, opposing yeah. and a level of dedication and commitment in the opposite direction. At a certain point, it becomes easy. Actually, one's true nature is effortless, timeless, eternal, and a flow state. That is the truth. And at a certain critical point, it's, it's like the truth starts to pull you more and more to it. It's like the more I, I wanted to have my alarms closer and closer, because I was starting to feel more and more happier. I was starting to feel more and more free. I was starting to feel like things that could trigger me are no longer triggering me. So it's like, yeah, I'm ready now. I'm going to put it down from 60 minutes to 40 minutes. You know, the ego's a bit grumpy for a while, but you get over it, and then you're into a higher state of vibration. So, so to answer your question, it's like having a priority, because usually one has unconscious priorities. It's like the most important thing is financial security. And I, I'm going to spend I'm going to spend my 19 hours of the day on financial security and 10 minutes on spirituality. You see, so then you're going to be just still stuck in 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 the stuff. Um, the other thing is, um, um, you'll have a lot of stuff come up if you if you do this. So it'll have a lot of things like I'll become boring. I'll become homeless. Um, people won't like me, I'll be cast out of all my socials. I mean, all, all kinds of things will come up for you if you do this kind of work. From, to say, like, hang back, don't do it, you, you become a weirdo. Um, and, um, you know, and also justifications. Look, you know, you're not talking about football any longer, uh, so you, should, you shouldn't do any more of this stuff so that you can fit in and talk about football. But actually, you know, 
it's it for me it was like a deep you know I had these spiritual amazing spiritual experiences and it was like it was clear I'm willing be I'm willing to put all the payoffs of the ego even if people think I'm a bit of a weirdo you know um, that's okay I mean it's not important really if people think I'm a weirdo I feel very motivated to do this to go more in this direction um, I mean I often have this feeling but I have it very strongly at the moment I think I'm just really noticing how you know last week I came here there's this whatever drama yes to do with house this week more drama to do with that next week it might be my relationship the week after my mum you know it's just there's always you know, you know this is not none of this is new and I just can sense almost the like you know the futility of that and yet the intensity of the drama you know I've mm. spoken to you so many times about all oh, this and you know it's right. always some new drama and it just and like now I just feel like I've had it mm. you know I've had it mm. with that there's I know there's that way you know <coughs> madness or futility lies I, mm. I get so hooked into each of those things and there's you know I'll just be replaying this for lifetimes it, unless something changes and all of this that you're saying makes such sense and then also when you're saying this, this is reminding me of when I've been in another sort of spiritual tradition, yes. 12 steps, or the, when I was, I'm not working that strongly in any way at the moment, but the times when I was most dedicated to that is when I really felt in a kind of flow state, or yeah. when I was really, that's when I was really regularly praying or checking in or doing whatever. So I can, I, I just, yeah, I know that I'm just, I'm hungry for this, and I feel like I've had it with. It's drama. Mm. That, that's very auspicious. We call that the spiritual rock bottom. Yeah, mm. yeah. Uh, you call it's that like a, yeah. a spiritual, <laughs> and it's a very, it's mm. a very, um, it's a very opportune moment in mm. time. There's a, if you seize the opportunity, it's like the fire is in the belly. I've had enough of suffering. Yeah. Uh, this time, and it's grace. Mm. Grace gives you that power. Mm. And I would say it's very. I mean, you being in this group probably is not by accident. And what I'm about to say to you now is, is probably useful. So, whenever you get the fire in the belly that you've had enough of the illusion and the suffering, um, is you quickly want to seize the opportunity before... Uh, and, um, he, I mean, here's what I would suggest, is find some f form of reminder. It could be a watch, it could be a, 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 an app on a phone, it could be a vibrating thing in your pocket. Find something. And I would start off with one hourly reminders using uh, A, A Course in Miracles lesson and the observer. And then, obviously, if you have to switch it off in a meeting or at work, then do so. But maybe put, you know, even if you had to, like, say, work from nine to five, I'd put an alarm on at five past five you know, on, on, on your watch, so that it says, like, put your alarms back on, all your alarms for the evening back on, with that kind of thing. So in the morning, you've got your alarms going off, and then, so that you don't forget, because you can get switched off after a day of work and forget to put your alarms on, but have a reminder of your alarms, to put it on, and start off with one hour of your alarms, and, and do a Course in Miracles listen to do that. Now... I say that because I think most people would struggle to do it closer than an hour. But if you've got fire in your belly to be free, if you, if you're, if you, if you can handle it, it's the closest amount of time that you're, you're, you can tolerate. So even if you could tolerate every half hour, if, you th if your ego won't allow you, then do it every hour. And then you do that for a few months. And then after a few months, you can usually let it go to a slightly smaller interval and then a slightly smaller interval. The main thing is when you've got, when you've got that willingness and you really w want it, is you want to get into a routine from, you know, ideally from today, you know, or research where you're going to get something to remind you and start immediately. Because here's the thing I found is that once you get into, uh, once you get into the routine and the rhythm of it, it becomes self-fulfilling. It's like it becomes, it becomes a thing that naturally happens without effort. It's like getting into the regularity of it and establishing that is the hardest part. 
So it's usually like when you've got the fire, it's like, go for it now. And then if you've been doing it for a few weeks, it becomes easy, you see. So the worst thing to do is to be inspired to do it for one day and then have a gap. Uh, and the other thing is, you know, this is even more intense than daily commitment because it's like hourly commitment or half hourly commitment. While you've got the enthusiasm, it might be quite easy for you to do every hour, every half hour because it's like your spirit is on fire to be free. So do, I mean, do find out what you can tolerate. Generally, you might be able to tolerate less, less than an hour. You might be able to do half hour. Um, if you can do less than half an hour, I'm, 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 I'll, be, I'll take my hat off, because that's very, uh, if your ego will let, but maybe it will. Sometimes when you've got the light in you, uh, you can do it. That, and that reminds me of this, that time actually, I knew that, that weekend with Muji yes. a year or two ago. Yes. Um, and it was a bit towards the end, where it kind of almost like the mood of it changed, or his mood changed. It was like, it was almost like he had to get this across. How's he going to get this across to us? And he was saying it's like the elevator is burning or something yes, like that. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, the, the top floor yeah. of the store is burning and there's just yeah, like, one elevator. You, when are you going to wake up? You know, sort of a bit like that. And I, I feel kind of, yeah, feeling like that. Feeling like, you know. It's good. I mean, yeah. it's very auspicious. Yeah. It's like, it's a bit like the dark night of the soul. Mm. It's a bit like the, the, the rock bottom experience. It's like the spirit saying... You've had like a hundred lifetimes of suffering yeah. and drama. I've, I've and been in like, tears earlier today. I've been crying in the park earlier today. It's like, where, when is this going to end? Like, when, are, you know, is this what I mean? Because then, you know, the stuff I know, as we all know, on some levels, but I just choose to, you know, keep falling asleep and forgetting that and then going into the drama and the tears. And, the, and it's like, oh, come on. Bless me, but come on. Yeah, I mean, the, the other thing to do, another practical tip, is to watch Muji mm -hmm. or to download audio of Muji on MP3 onto your phone and listen to him on the, on the tube, you know, you're going into work and he'll be saying to somebody like, what's observing that, you see? That would be also very advanced. I'm sure your ego won't like it. Um, <laughs> Netflix, the, the thing I don't and, like, what I do like Muji, the thing I don't like is any kind of cult of anything. Okay, that's well, what I don't, that's what my, if, all right, that's if, my resistance. If you, if you think he's a cult, and if you think I'm not a cult, you can listen to my videos. You can, <laughs> you can strip the audio. There is, there, there is a program where you can strip the audio from YouTube and you can listen to some of my self-inquiry. I've got lots of self-inquiry talks and you can mm -hmm. listen to me. Um, so I find listening to someone going over self-inquiry really helps me uh, through, uh, to enter that state, you know, the ego likes Netflix, doesn't like Muji basically, or mm. doesn't like me either. Uh, so, um, so, but that would be, you're 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 immersing yourself in in that. You're sort of brainwash. You sort of you you're washing your brain of the ego. If you listen to that, it's brainwashing is good. Everyone's brain needs to be washed. Yeah. <laughs> You know, get all that ego rubbish out. So if you listen to to some of my talks on self inquiry or my YouTube videos, or you can strip the audio. I can tell you later how to strip the audio from them. You can listen to them on your headphones. Uh, that's a lot. That will also be even even you know. And then you have your little beeps throughout the day. And then it's like while the fire of spirit is there. And then once you get established in the like I've been doing it for about, I've been doing my, my lessons and my beeping now, I think, for about nine years. And, and it's effortless now. It's easy. There's no effort. It's only the beginning bit, which is getting into it in the beginning, is the only hard bit you have to do. Once you're in the rhythm, it's like spirit grabs you, 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 you reduce the times and you reduce the times. It's like I'm being pulled by the spirit now. So it's better to be pulled in the realm of the, towards the realm of the spirit than towards more and more... As you go more and more into ego, it pulls you more and more into suffering in, in that way. Is that okay, buddy? Yep. 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 yep.